Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. In this video, I am going to just announce that uh, Paul is going to be our student IT trainer and I want to say thank you to Paul for providing us this great uh, you know, service uh, to our members, to the community. Uh, so on behalf of my members, I personally want to say thank you for all this effort. And he's providing this course, all of this course will be available on YouTube, which is going to be the videos for IT fundamentals. And this is one of the, the lab that we have uh, for our IT fundamental V1.0 course. So a lot of people have these labs now, and even if they're doing labs and they can do it themselves, it's like, you know, um, they can do all of this labs by looking at this stuff and then trying to apply this, uh, you know, on the labs. But Paul is what Paul is doing right now. Paul is going through these videos and uh, three, these labs and he make he's making videos and Paul is coming across some issues and he's fixing it. And that is a great way to learn. Uh, so Paul is utilizing what we were we promised, uh, you know, in our IT training a page where we're telling our members that if you take this route and if you want to become an IT trainer then a lot of things you will learn from us you will you will get a lot of benefits from this platform while we also get benefit from you and our members get benefit because they now watch these videos some are free some are paid uh, so Paul is doing this and I want to say thank you and after this what Paul is going to do Paul is going to do module by module videos so one module he's covering right after this video and after that he's going to do in, uh, installing Linux Hyper-V all that stuff he's going to go over all of these labs and he's going to make videos and that is why I want to say thank you to Paul because this is a lot of work thank you so much Paul and I'm going to take this video back to Paul thank you Welcome to Comptia IT Fundamentals. In this lab, we'll be talking about what we need to do in this section. The Comptia IT Fundamentals focuses on essential IT skills and knowledge needed to perform tasks commonly performed by IT professionals, namely setting up a workstation including conducting software installations, establishing network connectivity, identifying compatibility issues, and also identifying and preventing security risk, managing safety and preventative maintenance of computers. The same task will help you to understand the required competences needed for computer IT fundamentals. This lab is an entry level for IT industry and in this lab we are going to be doing some hands-on experience. We are going to be looking at configuring mobile devices. This is just um, an introduction to configuring mobile devices. This module will help you to develop your hands-on skills on how to configure mobile devices. We will be configuring Windows mobile phone settings with applications such as mobile device emulators and network emulators. And um, this is the lab diagram. This is how it's connected but for this module we are going to be using practice lab dc01 which is the domain controller and practice lab windows 7 in this section we are going to be configuring windows mobile phone settings which consists of two tasks in this task we are going to be using device emulator and windows mobile emulator but on Windows 7, um, we're going to be going to a portal so that you see how we're going to do it and work it through together. Okay, we are on the portal. So now we're going to be in doing task one, which is to launch the application, which is um, the device emulator manager and the Windows mobile professional 
we're going to be doing that we're going to click start click start we click our programs and we'll go to click windows mobile device center we're just going to accept the license agreement and this is the interface then we we'll click on click on mobile device setting click on connection setting on this connection setting we are going to select all of this checkbox allow USB connections we just have to click all of them allow data connection on device when connected to this PC click OK Um, we can now close this one just pull this one down close this we go back to our start menu we click on it go to our programs we click on Windows Mobile 6s DK click on it click on tools now we're going to open device emulator manager we'll click on it let's pull this down a bit uh, you know just pull it down a bit all right next we're going to open the windows mobile device we're going to go back to start click on start click on all programs go into windows mobile 6sdk we click on standalone emulator images we're going to click on windows mobile 6 Point one four professional we'll click on it let's give it some time to load up it's going to take a few minutes or a few seconds to load up it's coming up let's just wait for it to load up now I'm still loading up just going to take a few more minutes okay see now it's come up it's loaded up so this is how we set up the mobile device professional and the device emulator so this brings us to the end of task one so in the next video we're going to continue in task two as i said from the previous video on this session we are going to be doing task 2 which is to set up the common mobile phone settings which is on this device um, we are just going to be doing a few things for you to understand clearly now we are going to click on refresh on this device emulator manager which is going to display the alphanumeric, the alphanumeric global globally unique identifier of this device here so I'm just going to click on the refresh which is going to display the alphanumeric globally unique identifier which is just displayed here I'm going to right click on this identifier and we're going to select Crado We are going to keep both applications open now to configure the settings on the mobile device we are going to click file click file and we are going to select configure on this emulator properties we are going to click on the network tab and we are going to select this enable NA200 PCI network adapter I'm just going to put this at here so that we can click on the drop down menu so we'll click on the drop down menu we're going to select Microsoft virtual machine box network adapter we'll click on it 
and we click OK. After that, um, a network connection symbol is going to show up here, but that will take some time. Next, we are going to click on the Start. Click on it. We are going to click on Settings. On this setting screen, we are going to click on the Connection, Connections tab. Then next, we are going to double click on this network cards. On this configure network adapters, we are going to make sure that its work is selected. Next, we will click on edit. On this NE200 compatible Ethernet driver, we are going to be setting a specific IP so we're going to be clicking this and we're going to change the IP address we're going to click this we're going to use this IP address 192.168.0.50 and our Subnet mass will be 255.255.255.0. We are going to keep the default gateway empty. We'll leave it blank. Next, we'll click on name servers. On this tab, we're going to click on the DNS. We're going to change it, put a new IP. That is 192.168.0.1. I'm going to click OK at the top here. I'm going to click on this OK again. See here are these connection tabs. We are going to click double click on these connections. Here we are going to click set up my process server. On this my network, my work network, we are going to click on this network connects to the internet. Click on this. Next, we are going to click on this network uses process server to connect to the internet. Click on it. We are going to put the server IP, which is 192.168.0.1. Oops, too many fives. Take out some fives. Dot one three. So this is our proxy server. We are going to click on advance. On this place, we are going to click on HTTP. We are going to put change the ports to eighty eighty. Just add another 8 here. Then click on OK. Click on OK again. I'll click on this OK again. Next, we are going to click on this Advanced tab. Um, next, uh, we're going to click on Select Networks. On this Network Management tab, we're going to change this to My Work Network also. So you see this program that automatically connects the Internet should be using. Just click on this, drop the menu, we select this. 
all right then we're done with this we're just going to click ok ok um, then we're going to click this settings now we're going to load up internet explorer the default internet explorer it's loading up Um, please note that you cannot browse the internet from this device because of limitations of the network stack in this mobile emulator.